glad you're back and welcome to build a 100k pipeline in 90 days video series my name is cj i'm a training coordinator with the tech training team at keller williams now in the last video i said that i was going to be showing you one of the most important pieces for your business and that is your database so today, most of us are probably starting off in the business of real estate, and you might be thinking you're starting from scratch. Well, that's really not the case. Most of us today have a cell phone packed with tons of phone contacts with either family members, friends, old coworkers, that random person you met at Starbucks, and really that's where we need to start. What I'm going to show you today in this quick video are three methods to really feed your database. And that's gonna be the import file, API sync, and manual ad process. And these are really gonna help you load up your database. So let's take a look at that first one. That first way is gonna be a manual ad. So in order to do that, we're just gonna go ahead and click on the add contact button in the upper right hand corner. Once we do that, we can see several fields that we can plug and play. Um, for this contact here. Now, a lot of basic information here towards the top, full name, email, phone number, some of your big pieces of information that you're going to want to plug in. Now, some unique fields here that are going to be super powerful. Uh, one of them is going to be your tags area. Now, tags are going to help you group and sort your people in your database. Um, and you're going to get some system tags here that command gives you with the gray tags here. But the cool thing is I can also create my own tags, really make it customizable to my how I'm doing business, maybe my personality as well. So I can see those here. As we scroll down here. We're also going to see an area to plug in their primary address um, as well as uh, their social media profile. So if I do know their Facebook URL, I can have this here. I can click on it. It'll send me straight into their Instagram or Facebook, maybe even LinkedIn page. Um, and I can pl plug that information in as I'm going through their contact card here. Now, in the about area, I'm going to have a description area here. These are like notes. So if there's some unique pieces of information of maybe their dog's name or where their kids go to school, uh, I could plug that information in here. We're also going to have birthday and home anniversary. These are going to come into play as we talk about smart plans in our further videos here. Uh, those automatic follow-up pieces really giving you that unique touch and feel uh, as you're reaching out to people uh, for the birthday or their home anniversary. So we have those pieces of information to plug in there. And at the bottom here, uh, we can see company name or job title. Why would I need that? Uh, maybe you know five or six people in your database. You can filter in a certain way and say, hey, let me do a lunch and learn for you. You know, five contacts or leads in my database. Go in. You can meet their colleagues and really lead generate from that, uh, that opportunity as well. So these are some of the ways you can really uh, leverage these fields here for the contact card here to really leverage your conversations and really generate more business for you going forward. All right, let's talk about the second way to feed our database, and that's going to be through this import file process. So we can click on the uh, import button here in the upper right hand corner. And there's two ways you can go about this. Either I can go in and click on this download template area here. That's going to give me the option to start fresh. Um, so I can plug in information here on these blank fields uh, for those contact information areas as seen. Or let's say I already have a uh, spreadsheet or CSV file already populated with information. So if that's the case, we can just browse, click the browse button here and pull up that, uh, that spreadsheet that we already have. And then it's going to prompt this screen here. And what this is doing, it's saying, hey, you know, let's match up the fields on that spreadsheet to those fields in command. So we can go through and we can see on the left hand side, my CSV file has first name. All I got to do on the right hand side is go to first name here. Make sure those are matching up. And as we scroll down, we can see there's several other options for us to match up uh, those two areas. All right. And then when I'm done, I'll just click continue. All right, let's talk about the third way to feed our database, and that's going to be through the help of API Nation. So let's say I got some contacts in my cell phone, whether it's an iPhone or Android, and I want to get those contacts into Command's database. So I'm going to use API Nation, and I can utilize that through the marketplace here that we can kind of see on the screen. And so um, 
I'm simply just going to subscribe to API Nation. And, and the beauty of that is it's going to be an ongoing sync where I can really set it and forget it and have those contacts from my phone go straight into uh, my command database. Now, if you're asking what other ways can API Nation, Nation help me, is that just through my phone? Well, as we can see here, we have a whole list of integrations where we can use API Nation to help us bring in those contacts uh, via other platforms as well. So this is going to be another great way for you to work smarter, not harder, and really set it, forget it, and get those contacts from those different uh, areas into your command database to feed it even more. Okay, so if you have any questions about the functionality and features that I'm talking about, remember, you can email our team at learncommand at kw.com. Okay, so now you know how to feed your database and understand it. So let's take it a step further. I want to show you the last step to win with your database in the next video. And it's really going to save you some time and really show you how to leverage your full potential of your database as it grows. So you won't want to miss it and we'll see you back for the next video.